I'm going to show you a tool for Genially now that is called Nili Nilo or Mishmash, which allows you to have an automatic slide forward with a timer on a slide. So first I'm going to show you the example. So you can see on this slide um, that this has the normal forward button and it also has these three dots down here um, which don't work in this example because it has the forward but normally it would come up with the slide numbers and it allows you to jump to a certain slide but we, for this game we don't really want this to happen so let's say yes we are ready for the memory game now you see up here is a little timer which counts down from three that was very quick so we've only seen the first two pictures now we're back on a slide without a timer and now we need to do the task so put the pictures in the order they appeared well we only had the first two so these ones but normally we could fill them all in and then we would get a reward button so this is using the drag and drop tool uh, um, from genially as well or from scape as well or if you missed it you can put uh, click the return button and try the whole thing again so how do you make this so for this I'm starting a new presentation first in your presentation you need to make sure that your navigation which you can find in this symbol here the navigation needs to be on standard because for some of your slides you will want the arrows to appear if you don't if you just want the whole thing to move forward automatically you might as well just use the video um, navigation which automatically forwards the slide every five seconds or whichever you choose there but if you want a mix of having some with an arrow and some automatically forwarded then you need to use this tool so in this new presentation i've added the blue template slide from the other presentation by adding it to my from add pages and I've got these different boxes on there you don't need to use all of them you always need to use this one which you can just put outside your slide this uh, hides the arrows you also need to use this code here at the top so let's copy and paste it into insert and then you go to others and click insert and the X here needs to be replaced with the number of seconds that you want your slide uh, to be visible before it moves on so uh, let's say we want it for five minutes five seconds and I go to insert and it will insert this tiny little five unfortunately it's quite hard to see um, so you might want to put a timer next to it or a sentence saying you've got so many seconds left for the slide or something just to make it a bit um, more obvious or you can hide it completely if you don't want it to be visible by just turning the transparency to zero okay so let's say we want this to be seen so we just put it at the top here uh, we can get rid of this now these uh, this button here you need if the forward arrows appear which seems to be the case sometimes that it doesn't delete it for all slides so on slides where they appear and you don't want them to use this but for now i get rid of this this button the retour means return so if you have this on your slide it means instead of going forwards the slide it will automatically go backwards the slide uh, which is good for example if you put this on a uh, you did this wrong slide so someone has solved the puzzle wrong they get to a slide which says no and you want them to wait on the slide for i don't know five or 20 seconds and then automatically it goes back a slide so they can try again uh, at getting the right answer um, but for now just uh, get rid of it this bigger box here put this on the first slide only so you don't need to add it to all your slides just on the first one um, that gets rid of those dot 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 at the bottom which allows you to skip pages uh, which we don't want to happen so, so let's try this out now it should show us so you can now see our countdown timer going down and 
when the time's up, we move on to the next slide.